Hello everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this Rowana blanket wrap. I am intrigued by this garment when I saw these in the stores because it looks so cozy and warm, so I made one for myself. I used chunky yarn because I want that thick and soft warm feel. The crochet pattern is in vertical stripes because I'm vertically challenged. <laughs> this is very easy. Just crochet two rectangle panels and sew together. This fits most sizes, but if you want to make it longer, just add a multiple of 16. So the pattern is multiple of 16. If you want to make it long, I mean wider, just add more rows. And this is what the back looks like. And now let's get started. For the materials, I use this blanket yarn from Bernat. This is really thick, and the size of this yarn is size 6, super bulky. And I use two skeins of dark gray color and two skeins of same brand of yarn, but this one is in tweeds color. For the crochet hook, I use size L, eight millimeter crochet hook. This is for the th for thick yarns. I also use a pair of scissors, a large eye blunt needle, marker, and tape measure. So starting with a tweeds yarn or the light color yarn, start with a knot and chain 130. This is now 130 chains. Row one, single crochet in second chain from hook. So kind of fill the chain. So one, two, single crochet in this chain. So it's harder to see because it's the yarn is really thick. Single crochet in the next chain. Chain one. Skip the next chain. So this one, skip this one. And on the next chain, half double crochet. Chain one. Skip the next chain, skip this one. And in the next chain, double crochet. Chain one. Skip the next chain. Skip this one. And on the next chain, treble crochet. So treble crochet here. For treble, treble crochet, yarn over twice. And then we're going to do this twice. Yarn, chain one again. Skip the next chain. And double and treble crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, double crochet in the next chain. So skip this one, double crochet in the next. Then chain one, skip the next chain, half double crochet. Then chain one, Skip the next chain and single crochet in the next. And we're going to do this twice. So one more, chain one, skip the next chain and another single crochet in the next chain. So that's how we made the wave. So this is what it looks like now. Then repeat, chain one, skip the next chain and back to half double crochet. So we're, in, we're making the wave again. Chain one, skip, double crochet. 
chain one, skip the next chain and treble crochet in the next. Then do this twice. So chain one, skip, skip the next chain. So skip this one and treble crochet again for the second time. Chain one, skip the next chain, double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, skip this one and half double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next chain and single crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip and single crochet in the next chain for the second time. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the uh, treble crochets. To continue, chain one, skip the next chain. So skip this one and double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain and half double crochet in the next. There are three stitches left, chain one. So to end this row, skip the next ch uh, chain and single crochet in the last two stitches. So one single crochet and the last stitch is single crochet. Now we're going to change switch yarn to dark gray yarn so we're not we'll not finish the stitch we'll pick up the dark gray yarn right here yarn over the dark gray yarn and finish the stitch so this is to get ready for the next row. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two, easy pattern for this row. We're going to chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch right here and single crochet in the next chain one space and then repeat the pattern in each stitch and in each chain one space single crochet so single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next stitch right here and single crochet in the next chain one space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm just gonna continue with the pattern. Single crochet in the next stitch right here. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next chain one space and to end this row single crochet in the last two stitches so this one single crochet in this stitch and single crochet in the last stitch right here so this is how to end row two and this is what row two looks like Row three, another easy pattern for this row. Chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and in each stitch across. So single crochet here. In the next stitch, and in each stitch across. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. 
single crochet in the next stitch and to end this row single crochet in the last stitch right here and we're switching back to the tweed yarn tweed color yarn so we'll not finish this stitch drop the dark gray yarn pick up the tweed yarn right here and yarn over and finish the stitch to get ready for the next row this is how to end row three and this is what row three looks like row four chain four one two three four turn skip the first stitch skip this one and treble crochet in the next stitch right here chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next chain one skip and another single crochet in the next stitch this is what it looks like continue chain one skip half double crochet chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip and treble crochet in the next stitch chain one skip and treble crochet again in the next stitch chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip half double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip and single crochet in the next stitch again and this is what it looks like so it's forming the wave again chain one skip double half double crochet again chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip treble crochet in the next stitch chain one skip another treble crochet in the next stitch chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip half double crochet chain one skip and single crochet chain one skip and another single crochet so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row i'm here now towards the end of the row just going to continue with the pattern so i just did a single crochet here two single crochets chain one skip half double crochet chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch and to end this row two treble tre treble crochets in the last two stitches so here treble crochet and another treble crochet in the last stitch right here so this is how to end row four and this is what row four looks like Row five, chain four, one, 
two, three, four, turn. Skip the first stitch. Skip this one and on top of the next treble crochet, treble crochet on that stitch. Chain one. And then on top of the double crochet stitch right here, double crochet on that stitch. So just mirror the stitch of the prior row. Chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, single crochet in the next stitch right here because this is single crochet. Chain one and single crochet again. This is what it looks like. Chain one, half double crochet because this is half, half double crochet stitch. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, treble crochet in the next treble crochet stitch. Chain one and treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, single crochet because this is single crochet. Chain one, single crochet. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm just gonna continue with the pattern. I just did a single crochet. So chain one, half double crochet in this half double crochet stitch. Chain one, double crochet in this stitch. Chain one, and to end this row, treble crochet in the last two stitches. So right here. And the last treble crochet is on top of the beginning chain four, right here. And then for this stitch, we're going to switch back again to a dark gray yarn. So we'll skip the last yarn over, I mean, um, last stitch, drop the tweed and pick up dark gray yarn from here. Yarn over and finish the stitch to get ready for the next row. So this is how to end row five and this is what row five looks like. Rows six and seven, just repeat rows two and three. So these two rows here, the dark gray color uh, rows, just repeat these uh, two rows for rows six and seven. This is now what the piece looks like after rows six and seven. So here. Row eight, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, right here, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, Chain one, skip the next stitch, treble crochet in the next, and we're going to do this twice. So chain one, skip the next stitch, and another treble crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and back to double crochet. 
in the next stitch chain one skip and half double crochet chain one skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next chain one skip and single crochet in the next and this is what it looks like repeat chain one skip the next stitch half double crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch treble crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch treble crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch half double crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch single crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row i'm here now towards the end of the row i just did the uh, treble crochet so chain one skip double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip half double crochet chain one skip and to end this row single crochet in the last two stitches so here and the last one right here so this is how to end row eight and this is what row eight row eight looks like row nine chain one turn single crochet in the first stitch single crochet in the next stitch chain one Skip the chain one space and half double crochet in the next stitch, which is the half double crochet of prior row. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, which is the double crochet of prior row. So again, mirror the stitches of the prior row. So this one is treble crochet, so we're going to treble crochet in this row. I mean in this stitch. Chain one treble crochet in the next stitch right here because this is treble crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one half double crochet in the next stitch right here chain one single crochet in the next stitch chain one and single crochet again in the next stitch and this is what it looks like repeat the pattern chain one half double crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one treble crochet in the next stitch chain one treble crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one half double crochet in the next stitch chain one single crochet chain one and another single crochet so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row I'm here now towards the end of the row I just did the treble crochet so to continue chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one half double crochet 
in the next stitch chain one and to end this row single crochet in the last two stitches so here and then in the last stitch we're not going to finish it we're going to switch to dark gray yarn so drop the tweed pick up the dark gray yarn yarn over and finish the stitch so this is how to end row 9 and this is what row 9 looks like rows 10 to 26 just repeat rows 2 to 9 consecutively so I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 26 to show you the next step. And this is now what my piece looks like after row 26. If you want to make this wider, you can continue adding more rows. But for me, um, I decided to and with just one row of uh, the gray single crochet right here so right here this is just one row of single crochet for the dark gray yarn instead of two but feel free to modify your ending row next is i'm going to crochet two rows of double crochet halfway through the uh, rectangle starting here at the right side of the bottom so count about four repeats and then on this first single crochet here put a marker this is about 29 inches from the edge and then from this marker I'm going to start crocheting my um, two rows of double crochet So from here, going to the right, two rows of double crochet. So I'm going to crochet two rows of double crochet. So I'm here now in row one or where I started my piece. Going to the right where I will have the marker right here. So I'll start from the marker, from the stitch where the marker is right here. So join the gray yarn on this stitch so this is about halfway through the rectangle chain two double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet in the next stitch so just basically double crochet in each stitch and in each chain one space and double crochet in the next chain one space across the row double crochet in the next stitch and in the next chain one space so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern, double crochet in the next uh, chain one space right here, double crochet in the next stitch, and one last double crochet in the last stitch right here. So this is how to end the first row. And this is how to end the first row and this is what the first row looks like. So one double, one row of double crochet halfway through the rectangle. Second row, chain two, turn, skip the first stitch, skip this one and double crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch across. Right this so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting out the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row i'm here now towards the end of the row i'm just going to continue so double crochet in the next stitch and then to end this one last double crochet on top of the beginning chain so this is how to end the second row 
and fasten off. And we're done with our first panel. And this is what it looks like. The two rows. This is now what my piece looks like after crocheting two rows halfway through the rectangle. And this will be our first panel. We're going to need two panels, so crochet another panel of exactly the same pattern. And these are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern. Lay it side by side with the two rows of double crochets next to each other. Then move these close to each other like this. And we're going to sew them together. So from here, from this edge right here, top, sew the two edges together using whip stitch. So all the way down here. And this is now what my piece looks like after the two edges are sewn together. I use whip stitch to sew them together. So close up right here. See, this is whip stitch. From here all the way down to the edge. Next, we're going to work on the neck opening. So right here, this is the opening. So I'm going to crochet from this edge right here, uh, one row of single crochet from the edge down up to the neck around and on the other side all the way down here. And this is now what my piece looks like after I crochet one row of single crochet around the opening. So I hope you can see clearly. Next is I'm going to fold this halfway. So from here, fold it halfway like this and the other side like this. And one last step. So here at the bottom right here where the uh, extra yarns, where we um, switch yarns, this one here, extra yarns are showing. So I'm going to crochet one row of single crochet here, all the way across right here at the bottom edge to hide the extra yarns. And this is now what the piece looks like after I crochet one row of single crochet to hide the extra yarns. So just evenly crochet in this row, one row of single crochet. See, it's the, the extra yarns are now hidden. And all the way to the other side. Now weave the ends, clean up the tail, and we're done! And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done. And let me show you the measurements real quick from side to side. From here, to the other side is about 41 inches, and from top to bottom is about 31 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.